Hey guys, Ill Spirit here, back again with another video. And I have a little, uh, I did a poll, and I did say I'd do it, so I gotta review the Splinter. So, the Splinter's a hard episode to review, you know, due to the gross out. So, I gotta talk about the characters before I can actually talk about the entire episode. The characters in this episode are Spongebob and Squidward. So there are two main ones, and the two side characters of the episode are Patrick and Mr. Krabs. And I know they're not that they are actually main characters in the show, but I mean, like, that they play big roles. But they play, like, little roles, so, you know, we gotta still kind of talk about it now. So, the entire episode is about Spongebob having a splinter, and it's dumb. So, it starts out kind of decently. Where Spongebob gets his... <sighs> try getting ready for work. But then, uh, he does a spatula up in the air. He grabs it. And then he... Then he... It kind of looks like he's going to die. But he doesn't really die because he got saved by a spatula. But just... I mean, by a spatula because when he was holding it up in the air, a sword fell down. I don't see how anyone don't know this. So... He... He thinks he's getting off scot free, but instead he slips on mayonnaise, he loses his spatula, then he gets a splinter. And it's in there. And it's deep. So, I already. It kind of like the first scene. It was pretty cool. But now we get on to the bad stuff. So, SpongeBob starts trying to take it off. Then he has to think of a way to use it, so he uses his nose for his spatula, flips the burgers, and then has like, and then he gives it, tries to give it squidward, but accidentally getting him in the eye. Luckily, not giving gross out, not that I've seen. Then, anyways, squidward finds out that he gets splintered, saying that SpongeBob will get fired. So he, so SpongeBob calls Patrick to help him. Well, Patrick just makes it worse. Then, he runs out crying like a baby, and then Mr. Krabs finds out, and then it turns out that the splinter's huge. Then, Mr. Krabs pulls it out, even though Spongebob tried pulling it out, but then again, he wasn't able to pick up a cup, anyways. So, he was, whenever he takes it out, it, he, some confetti comes out. Yeah, you think that's it? No, it gets worse. Then, some pus comes out. Then, Spongebob is freaking out, well, doesn't freak out about thing. and then, uh, Mr. Krabs said he, he'd have to get some evaluation thing, where he'd get paid, and I don't see, well, he gets paid when he's at home, then Squidward tortures himself, and turns out the chef was already done, then the end. So, I know I kind of breathed through this, but there's really not much to talk about. I mean, there's gross out. There's a bad splinter, Pat Patrick is a jerk in the episode, so in the rating, I'd give it a 1.5. So the beginning part does save it from going all the way down, and also if you want me to give, if you want to hear my thoughts on the episode, go on to my top 10 worst Spongebob episodes. It's... It kind of talks about a few Spongebob episodes and why it's a different type of number. So, yeah, that's about it that I have to say about the Splinter. Thank you all for watching, and I am out.